What up, y'all? This is Brandon. And this video, I want to kind of um, talk about a, a basketball player who I really enjoyed watching, who recently just retired or played his last game and is retiring now. As y'all know, Dwayne Wade played his final game yesterday. And yesterday from when I'm recording this. And, you know, it's just crazy, you know, watching all the players I grew up watching retire. It's, you know, it, it, it just, it just kind of crazy that just time is flying, flying by so quick. Dwayne Wade was one of my favorite, was one of my first favorite players uh, when I really got into basketball. You know, I think my first favorite was like Tayshawn, um, then Rashid and Ben. I really, I really liked the Pistons. You know, it was back in their, in their glory days. Um, but Dwayne Wade was another player who I really liked. I remember, I remember getting NBA Live 06, and and uh, Dwayne Wade was on the cover. And I remember a lot of times, like I would do the fantasy draft, and um, I would pick him first, or I'll try to get him first, because you know I loved his game. He was athletic. He was strong. You know, he could score with the best of them. He was clutch. He was just an overall fantastic player that got robbed, you know, by injuries for, you know, some of his prime. He still had a fantastic career, third best shooting guard of all time, but possibly could have even been higher if it was not for his health. Um, it, just, it just, you know, watching all the tributes, all, I saw the tribute video, um, like I said, I don't, I don't, I don't in endorse all Budweiser, you know, but they did a really good commercial with the with the jersey exchange and with um they didn't have jerseys to exchange so they exchanged what was important to them and how he helped them and I thought that was really awesome and Wade was especially one of them players who he didn't really have a lot of the thing that was unique about him is he didn't have a lot of haters it was it was kind of like the same way of Tim Duncan like you know Tim Duncan just went out did his business and you know there was there wasn't anything really to not like you might have said he was boring or whatever or D Wade they call him D Whistle or whatever but other than that you know everyone liked him liked his game he you know he was a he was just he was just a pure hooper I think that's what a lot of people liked about him and you know um it, it just it just kind of crazy seeing him retire especially you know growing up watching that and then you know the big three era and then you know just just all that man it just seems like time is flying by so quick uh, I'm not. I'm not going to go go about talking about all of Dwayne Wade's accomplishments. You already. You can Google it, man. And people are already doing. Um. You know all that. I will say it is kind of crazy that he never won an MVP. He's probably the best player to never, the best player to never win a regular season MVP. But, you know, he got a he got a Finals MVP, so I don't think he's sweating too much. You know, made a, made a bunch of All Star teams, and he was just he was just a great player and just. You know, as this, as the era is kind of really winding down quick, you know, you look at this new generation of stars and superstars, and, you know, I'm not going to be one of the people that's stuck in the past and be like, man, back in my day, you know, because, let's face it, I'm in my prime right now. I'm 27. I'm still trying to make things happen. But, you know, this him retiring really kind of, you know, maybe sit down and kind of think a little bit. You know, I, you know, it's just, it just really crazy, you know, just watching time fly and really showing how short life really is. Uh, you know, uh, when, when Kobe retired, you know, I mean, it was, I didn't, I'm not going to lie, I didn't really care a whole, whole lot because I was never really a big Kobe Bryant fan. You know, I respected his game and everything, but I was just never really, really a fan like that. Um, you know, when Tim Duncan retired, that, that really hit. But unfortunately, that was a couple years ago before I did the whole YouTube thing or I would have did, did a tribute video as well. But, you know, uh, just just watching everyone retire now, you know, Dirk Nowitzki also announced retirement. You know, he was another fantastic player, you know, who um, overcame a lot, had to deal with the quote-unquote soft label, even though that's what, even though, <laughs> which is crazy because the whole new generation of big men do what he does. Big men don't even post up anymore. Dirk posts up more than a lot of big men do today. But, you know, we're we, we not calling them soft. But, you know, it's just all, that's just sometimes how it works. Sometimes you're ahead of your time. And, you know, that's the same way I feel about Wade. You know, he was, you know, just to be, he was about 6'4". I think he was like 6'3 and 3 quarters barefoot or something like that. 
but you know he had super long arms. He was athletic, strong, and a little on the heavy side. Not fat, but he was just just built, just big. And he really knew how to use his body and block shots. And you know it's it's gonna be it's gonna be kind of weird not seeing him in the league anymore. You know he definitely still could have played a little longer, no doubt about that. Um, but you know sometimes you know sometimes people just want to you know they had enough or whatever reason was wants to worry about his family you know that's cool he had a long career and um that's just how it is sometimes but i just want to make this video kind of talking about that a little bit because Wayne way was one of my favorite players uh and just to kind of put in perspective you know that you know time is going by quick and especially for any of you athletes and everything and i'm speaking to myself too you know, the window is so small to make an impact in sports, or even just to make it in sports, to get paid for it, you know, and you really got to grind hard, you got to um, have favor in terms of, like I said, I don't, I don't believe in luck, but I do, you know, I believe in, uh, I believe in God, so um, you have to have favor for, you know, not dealing with any injuries, and just a lot of things have to fall in the right place a lot of times for, you know, to really make it. Because there's a lot of great players out there that just never, for whatever reason, never get their shot. Sometimes it's their fault, sometimes it's just situational. And, you know, and also be ready for life after sports. Because I believe I remember reading that Wade was talking about that he's going to have to see a counselor about how to, and don't, don't worry about me pacing back and forth or whatever. He's going to have to get a counselor about retiring because, you know, life's not going to be the same. He's been doing that his whole life. And what people got to realize is there's life after basketball, y'all. You know, never let one thing consume your whole life or else you're going to be greatly disappointed. Especially if some, if it don't work out. And if it does work out, don't expect it to last forever because it's just not. That's, that's just the nature of sports. But, uh, yeah, man, that's... It's just crazy, you know, what, what, what D-Way was able to do with his with his knee issues and everything and still be able to be a star player and play for as long as he did. Excuse me. The crazy thing is, you know, a lot of people didn't think he was going to have that long of a career because of, they say, like, oh, he relied on his athleticism too much. Once he starts slowing down, he's done. But then he got that mid-range jumper down, that post game down, and he found ways to be effective you know, into his 30s and mid-30s, so, I'll never forget in 2016, his last year on the Heat before he left, you know, him just going, you know, in the playoffs and just doing work, you know, despite not really having much of a team around him, he had, he had, uh, was Whiteside hurt after the first round? I, I, I can't remember, but just watching him do work, you know, at his age and, you know, with really a uh, depleted roster, I believe, it just shows how great of a player he was, man. That, 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 in my opinion, was very impressive. But, but once again, I just want to make this video talking about one of my favorite players, Dwayne Wade. Uh, it's not going to be the same, but, you know, that's sports. And there's going to be somebody different. Probably not the same, but it's going to be different. So that's all I got to say for that. Keep working, work hard, make things happen.